for quite a while now, Hollywood has been basically fighting their fans and questioning the morals of their fans. They've been calling their fans sexist and racist for not liking certain characters. For example, I don't like Rose Tico and I don't like Finn in the new Disney Star Wars movies. So they call me a racist because I don't like Finn and they call me a sexist and a racist because I don't like Rose Tico. Now the fact is, without getting into detail, those are two pretty bad characters, poorly written, and there's no reason I can't criticize them in a respectful way. So, Hollywood has been taking the high road. They're the moral experts, and I'm the lowly consumer who doesn't understand what I'm seeing. But, Hollywood got blasted by the Attorney General, Bill Barr, who's saying, by them helping China, they're pretty much doing a disservice to everybody. But, I can't say it as well as he did, so let's watch his clip and then I'll say a few words. Okay, so first he's going to explain a few things about why China is being unfair in the world market. And then he'll get into the part specifically about Hollywood. Free and fair competition with China has long been a fantasy. To tilt the playing field to its advantage, China's communist government has perfected a wide array of predatory and often unlawful tactics, currency manipulation, tariffs, quotas, state-led strategic investment and acquisition, theft and forced transfer of intellectual property, state subsidies, dumping, cyber attacks, and industrial espionage. About 80% of all federal economic espionage prosecutions allege conduct undertaken for the benefit of the Chinese state. And about 60% of all trade secret theft cases have been connected to China. So in this next clip here, he talks about how some plot lines and characters were changed in movies out of fear of irritating China. World War Z depicts a zombie apocalypse caused by a virus. The original version of the film reportedly contained a scene with characters speculating that the virus may have originated in China. But the studio, Paramount Pictures, reportedly told producers to delete the reference to China in the hope of landing a Chinese distribution deal. The deal never materialized. In the Marvel Studios blockbuster Doctor Strange, filmmakers changed the nationality of the major character known as the Ancient One, a Tibetan monk in the comic book. Changed it from Tibetan to Celtic. When challenged about this, a screenwriter explained that if you acknowledge that Tibet is a place and that he's Tibetan, you risk alienating one billion people. And this is the part where he gets into the wokeness, you could say, and specifically about the Oscars, how Hollywood preaches every year to people like me who are just giving critical criticism that I'm racist and sexist. Thank you, Bill Barr. Here we go. Take Hollywood. Hollywood's actors, producers, and directors pride themselves on celebrating freedom and the human spirit. And every year at the Academy Awards, Americans are lectured about how this country falls short of Hollywood's ideals of social justice. But Hollywood now regularly censors its own movies to appease the Chinese Communist Party, the world's most powerful violator of human rights. This censorship infects not only the versions of movies that are released in China, but also many that are shown in the United States theaters American audiences. So, he said it pretty nicely there how Hollywood comes out every year, and not every year, by the way, it's like every week by somebody, how us as fans are sexist, racist, and whatever else we are because we're criticizing their movies and they're acting like they are taking the moral ground. But popular speculation is they don't really care about anything, but A, preaching what they're preaching and having this noble reputation, and B, the money. I say be the money because they're sacrificing some money to give us the message. They could be making more money if they were normal and had normal movies, but for some reason they 
think it's important to spread this message. And it looks like Bill Barr called that out nicely. I hope from this point on that people will stop taking Hollywood seriously who say these things, and some people do take them seriously. They have plenty of people on their side. If they didn't, they probably wouldn't say it. They'd probably pander to the next audience or whoever they felt was listening to their pandering. Anyway, you guys let me know down below what you think of that clip. It's nice hearing it from somebody from the government, not a YouTuber, not a journalist, not even an actor who, you know, once in a while rarely takes the other side or a comedian, but someone from the government. So yeah, this is good. Anyway, doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. If you haven't subscribed here, consider it. If you do, I'll be pretty happy about it. You'll get videos. It'll be great. If you don't subscribe, well, I'll be pretty sad. But I'll get over it. I'll move on. See you next time.